one. All right, here we are, Melissa and Slater with Chris Young, head of the ACM Awards. Chris, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you guys doing? We're good. So I wanted to start off with saying, because this guy is a Patriots fan. My husband is a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. And so the fact that you were just fishing with Dak Prescott, he was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And he's just over here crying. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. So, so how'd the fishing go? Uh, it was awesome. So there's like the first two questions I get is one, how in the hell did you get on a boat with Dak Prescott? <laughs> and two, uh, and somebody actually asked me, they were like, was it Jimmy? Jimmy hooked you guys up, didn't he? I was like, no, I brought Jimmy with me. I needed some backup. I needed somebody I knew could fish. Uh, so we, we went out there. I, I met him through his charity. I've done a couple different uh, fundraiser things with him for his uh, Faith Fight Finish Foundation, his four foundation, which is the Dak Prescott Foundation, obviously. But um, just was talking back and forth about us getting on a boat and going fishing together. And it came together and he brought Lyle Collins with him and obviously his brother. And I, I, the second question is always like, who caught the most fish? I would love to say it was one of us. It was not. Dak Prescott can fish. All right. You know, Dak is not here. So we're just going to say it was you. Yeah. You know what? No one to counteract it. Yeah. Hey, just lie. He's not, he's never going to, you know, <laughs> be able to. We're lying buddies. Yeah. We're not going to at Dak Prescott. <laughs> yeah. We got you. <laughs> Perfect. So I, I had a question. So I know that you are a proud puppy dad. Okay. And post pictures of him all the time. And you guys having a good time. Um, I am newly single after getting divorced and I was new to the dating scene and I've been yelled at because I don't have a dog, but I borrowed Melissa's dog to post pictures on my dating profile. And I'm getting told that's perfect. not the right thing. No, that's, that is perfect. Although you are kind of going into it with them expecting you have a dog. So you should get your own dog. You really but, should. <laughs> I'm not saying that like, maybe I'm like that fun uncle, you know, like this could be like my, my nephew pop. You know, I'm not saying like this is my pup and I own this dog. I just found Look, it. I, it's it's not the first. I <laughs> just found it. It was just <laughs> in my house. I don't know. Uh, it's it's not the first, nor will it be the last reference I've heard of someone borrowing someone else's dog. And if you know how many times that a couple of my single buddies have been like, let me just take Porter to the park. Let me just take him to the park. Uh, so it, it obviously works or people wouldn't keep doing it. You know, I tell him, too. I'm like, listen, that's babies are also chick magnets so if you have to borrow somebody's baby like it doesn't work that way it's just the same for the dog already, already, do it. Not, I already have one of those hey if anybody wants, like, Don't do that. anybody wants to borrow my daughter there is a price <laughs> there is a price uh, <laughs> oh all right chris so we know i got a right. niece i got a niece that works like i can you know be like hey this is my niece she's awesome i give her back there you go. Um, so we know you're performing with Kane Brown at the ACM Awards. Um, I did see the music video for that. And you guys look like you're having a great time, you know, hanging out. And I'm assuming that the performance on the stage at the ACM is going to be the exact same. I know you two are friends. So when you hang out, it's probably one big party. Yeah, same energy. I love him to death. It's just, uh, you know, having a song that's a collab with a friend where you're talking about the people that you grew up with and it's obviously a happy, positive vibe song. It makes it a lot easier when, you know, you, you've known the other person for a while. I mean, I was writing songs with him before he had his record deal, just based upon people we knew together. Uh, they were mutual songwriter friends here in Nashville. So uh, I, I've been so excited. I've had him on my tour before. We've known each other for a long time. And so it just makes it really easy. Yeah, I saw you guys in St. Augustine. It was you and him, and I forgot who the opener was. But you had a song before Famous Friends together, and I remember going, God, I hope they come out and sing that one. I'm blanking right now the name of it, but it ended up not being one of your guys' singles, so it never made it to the stage. But I'm, and I was so excited when this one came out and that it was a single and that it was going to be performed because it is so good. So we're so excited to see that performed at the ACM Awards. Congrats on all the success up until now. We hope to see you in Orlando soon, you know, as shows starting to come back, and we're super excited for you. Yeah, and you know I love coming to Orlando. Every time I've been down there, we've had a blast. So uh, oh, yeah. very much ready for that. All right, Chris. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, brother. Take care.